Hi, this is Yvonne McNary for Central Kentucky Talks, and we're here today with a Halloween safety, and who better to give us lessons on that than Chief Wally Brady here of Lebanon, Lebanon Police Department. He's got a lot of things going on here for Halloween. I mean, a lot of kids, mm -hmm. a lot of candy, a lot of costumes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, now, first of all, Halloween is Tuesday, October 31st. Yes, from okay. 530 to 730. Okay, and that's official. That's official. That's official. That's, that's what the city council voted uh, at the city council meeting in September that they would that the hours for trick or treating for the city of Lebanon would be from 5:30 to 7:30. Now, for all those other communities out in the county, their city council vote on a, on a, maybe a little bit different uh, variation from the 5:30 to 7:30, but for the city of Lebanon, it's 5:30 to 7:30. Okay, fantastic. I know the one thing that we all we're always careful of is the safety of our kids when oh, they're out there trick-or-treating. Almost definitely. Yeah, and some of the things that uh, we've always watched out for is the kind of mask they wear so mm -hmm. that they can see. But oh. there are some other tips as well. Yeah, uh, and, and definitely the mask. Uh, what I like to recommend is use face paint mm -hmm. because that way there's no obstructions. Uh, what happens with a small child if they're walking, they got a mask on, the mask, and they can't see clearly. It, it distorts their peripheral vision or, it, in fact, it obstructs their peripheral vision. Whereas if they got face paint on, you know, naturally they can see their peripheral vision to the right, to the left. And, and I just think face painting is a lot safer for the that. child. Okay. All right, and you've got some other points for us here, Yeah, and, and, and always wear, I, they all, I, anytime they go trick-or-treating, children should be accompanied by an adult. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not a good thing for them to go out on their own and go trick-or-treating. Uh, just use common sense for one thing. You know, naturally, don't cross the street in the middle of the street. You yeah. go to the go to the go to the corner and mm -hmm. cross at the corners. Uh, don't don't go and, and, and dart out between parked cars because it's a safety issue. Because other other drivers that are on that highway, which there is most times Spalding Avenue and the other streets in town that are trick that are trick or treated mm -hmm. real heavy heavily. Uh, there's cars going up and down the street, and and if a child darts from behind a parked car, they cannot be seen. They could get hit and could be hurt or even, uh, or worse, even killed. Yes. So so definitely cross the crosswalks and use the red, the light, the traffic light signals to cross and, and always be accompanied by an adult. Uh, after dark, I recommend that they carry glow sticks. Okay. You know, carry a glow stick. You know, a flashlight, you gotta keep turning it on, turn it on, turn mm -hmm. it on, turn it on. Carry a glow stick. It, once you break it and, it, and you, you get that illumination, it illuminates for a couple of hours. So that and, and get a, a, a white one or a red one or something that can or orange one or something that can be seen a green one mm -hmm. a glow stick that it, it's it's easy for other people to see it a glow stick um, if they're wearing dark dark clothing I don't recommend them wear dark clothing but mm -hmm. sometimes they do wear dark clothing put some you can go to like Walmart or some of these places and buy reflective tape oh. and put reflective tape on mm -hmm. it so that the headlights can of the vehicles can see see the child mm -hmm. if for some reason you know how children are even if they're accompanied by an adult or sometimes they want to dart out in front of yeah. something or yeah. they see they get they, excited they get excited they want to run to that house <laughs> and they just oh the shortest way is straight across but instead of going all the way down to the corner and cross. right but uh, yeah put some put some reflective tape on there uh, always use the sidewalks okay. walk on the sidewalks mm -hmm. uh, and like I say carry their uh, little glow sticks um, now what age restrictions do you put on Halloween? You know, there are trick-or-treaters out there. There's the little ones that are really cute in their little costumes, mm -hmm. and then there are the older ones who are well, I mean, you out don't, there. You don't want somebody 22 years old coming to your house trick-or-treating, <laughs> you know? I mean, common sense, you know? Yeah. I would say probably, uh, especially elementary school age, mm -hmm. most definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, I think once they get up to middle school age, maybe sixth grade, seventh grade, you're kind of getting a little bit big for trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. So if you're a little bit big for trick or treating, well, why don't you help mom or dad out and hand out the candy? Yeah, that's a great That'd idea. Be, you know, or 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 come outside and, and watch and, and cheer the children on that are coming to your mm -hmm. house trick or treating. Uh, also for the homeowners, if you're if you're giving out candy, uh, turn your porch light on, mm -hmm. and then when you when you run out of candy and you don't have any more candy, turn your porch light off. That tells that tells everybody that's trick or treating that hey look, I don't have no mm -hmm. more candy, so don't come to my house. But as long as you got that porch light on, those kids are going to come to your house. But, you know, and, and try to, I, I, I can't stress enough, but try to honor the 530 to 730. I know sometimes parents get off late from work and they get home a little bit late and it's a little bit difficult to try to honor that time frame. 
but for but out of respect for everybody, all the all the homeowners and 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 everybody that's participating with, in trick or treating, try to honor that 5:30 to 7:30 period. You know, at 7:30, turn your porch light off, and that lets everybody know that you're done trick or treating. Done. Or if you run out of candy before 7:30. Cut your light off. Mm -hmm. That way you still don't have those young children come into your house wanting to trick or treat. And then when you tell them, I don't have no more candy, well then guess what you've just done? You've just disappointed them little kids. Yeah. So turn your porch light off if you don't, if you run out of candy or or the time has elapsed, turn your light off. Okay, now we've talked about kids getting candy. What about the candy that they get, they get it home, what should the parent do with that oh, candy? Oh, the first thing a parent should do when they get it home is take it out of the bag and pour, put out some newspaper or pour it on a kitchen table and examine the candy. Mm -hmm. Look through it. Make sure there isn't, if, if you have something that, that's been home wrapped, like something wrapped in Reynolds wrap and not the, not the manufacturer's uh, wrapping, toss it. Because okay. you don't know what, might, what that might be. Uh, but just for safety reasons, mm -hmm. toss it. Okay. Because if it's not in a manufactured, and we recommend that if you're going to give out candy, go to Walmart, Kroger's, uh, Family Dollar, Dollar General Store, wherever you want to shop and buy your candy in bags mm -hmm. and hand it out, hand candy already wrapped, pre-wrapped yeah. in the bag. Rather so, than the homemade. Rather than the homemade stuff. Because, you know, uh, I would much rather my child, I'd rather for my child to eat something that's already pre-wrapped than to go to someone's house and, and they have like a like they have fudge or something wrapped up in Reynolds wrap because I'm going to toss it because I don't know what's in that mm -hmm. and I'm not sure and not only that but if you have if you have uh, uh, pre-wrapped candy and you get it home and the wrapper looks like it's been ripped or, or tampered with please toss it toss it because even though it's in a wrapper and it's pre-wrapped it can still be tampered with okay okay um, also when you go when they're going trick-or-treating go to houses that you know of people that you know don't go to strangers Okay. You know, don't go to strangers' houses unless you know them. I mean, that's not a stranger thing. No, no, if you yeah. know them, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But but what I'm getting at is don't go to houses where that you don't know the people. Don't go to strangers' houses. Go to people that you know, uh, uh, because I think it's at, that's even safer. And and if there's somebody sitting on the roadside with a in a vehicle and says, "Come here, I got some candy for you," do not go. Do not go. Because you know, realistically, how many people? Trick or treat out of a car, yeah. <laughs> unless yeah. unless it's a church function mm -hmm. or a school function, and they call it trunk or treat. Uh -huh. Now that's 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 good. That's good to go. But then that's usually set aside in a, set, at yes, a particular spot at a particular time. At a particular location at a particular time, mm -hmm. they call it trunk or treat, mm -hmm. and that's awesome. And, and it's just a bunch of church family people or school family people to get together, and they have candy in their trunks and they hand out candy that way. Uh, but but that's an alternative to going door to door, you mm -hmm. know. That's an alternative. I know years ago we had the Halloween in the park, mm -hmm. and it used to be an alternative to um, trick or treating to try to stop the door to door trick or treating. And what happened was it just got to be, it, it got to be to the point where that uh, the people would go to Halloween in the park, they'd mm -hmm. leave Halloween in the park, and then they'd hit the then they'd hit the city, and it mm -hmm. was they was doubling up on the mm -hmm. on on the uh, uh, candy. But I mean. That's a good thing, but the bad thing was it, its intentions were it was to be an, an alternative to door-to-door -to -door okay. trick-or-treating, and it turned out not to be. Yeah, and that so. sort of stretched your resources too, oh, didn't yes, it? Oh yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And, and I will, I will have two or three units already patrolling up and down Walnut Street. That'll be their only, their only job will be riding. You'll see police cars driving up and down, uh, not Walnut Street, but Spalding Avenue. That mm -hmm. seems to be the most gathering in Spalding Avenue and Rolling Hills area. And I'll have I'll have extra police cars riding up and down the street to make sure that we keep people safe. And I may even you may even see if you look up by the health department, there might even be a police car sitting there with the lights flashing to kind of slow incoming traffic mm -hmm. down as they come through. Mm -hmm. And if you're out, if you're coming through Lebanon uh, at that time between 5:30 and 7:30, please, please, please drive slow mm -hmm. and watch out for for uh, trick or treaters because. Uh, it's we're all want to have a good time and, and we all want to go home safe yes and that's we do. what I want them to do yes indeed how many kids do you estimate that we'll have out for trick-or-treats this oh my year goodness it, because we've had quite a quite a few on Spalding Avenue before yes. it's, it's hard to I, it's I, hundreds of kids oh yeah I would say five five hundred to a thousand maybe mm -hmm. and that and that might be that might be a little underestimated mm -hmm. but I know there's a it's, it's a mob of children yeah. that, that hit those areas and it seems like that those two areas in Spalding Avenue and Rolling Hill seem to be the most popular area for everybody to go trick or treat. I know the the, the residents in those areas uh, get bombarded with all the trick or treaters, mm -hmm. 
But you know, it is it is an enjoyable sight when you see little kids come up. They got these little <laughs> costumes on, and they come up. I, you can't help but laugh and enjoy it, enjoy it. And, and the adults, most of the adults, enjoy it as much as the kids. It's a fun time. It's a isn't fun it? time, and let's. It's a fun time, and that's a good point. Let's keep it fun. Okay. Let's keep it fun, and let's keep it fun. Let's keep it safe, and everybody enjoy themselves. Yes, indeed. This has been Yvonne McNary with Central Kentucky Television with Chief Wally Brady here, giving us some tips on how to stay safe during Halloween.